So here's something a little different. This little mental training vlog in the morning, which is very different training from the afternoons. Um, mornings are a little bit quiet. I do my pad work usually with Kurnu in the morning. Um, he's been having me do double pad work lately, so I might be doing it this afternoon too. Um, but there's fewer people and my like clinching and sparring and things that in general are far more mentally challenging are in the afternoon. So I've been doing a lot of my mental training vlogs, all of my mental training vlogs thus so far um, in the afternoon because that's when I'm like really struggling. But um, I got up this morning and went for the run, which means that we meet here at the gym at 5 a.m. and drive out to Silver Lake, which is maybe like a 20, 25 minute drive. Um, and we run for an hour, get back at like, I don't know, 6.30, close to seven. So it's a very early morning, and then I go home and um, try to sleep a little bit. Usually usually I can get like half an hour or 30 minutes, um, even though I have potentially like two hours to sleep before coming back. But um, I come back and train at like 9, 9.30. I was very tired this morning coming back um, for the training after the run. Like I felt really good on the run, um, and then I felt really hungover when I woke up from like that 30 minute lay down and was awake for um, probably a good hour before coming. So in the mornings, um, when I wake up, the first thing I try to do is Vipassana, which is a kind of meditation that I've been doing for the past, I think, year and a half, maybe a year and a half. Um, it's really good for me. And it really uh, helps me start my day in a really nice way because the whole point of it is trying to like put yourself in a present moment um i do have a tendency to just throw myself completely out of that state of mind <laughs> because i have very well-worn grooves um of frustration and doubts and things like that that basically like um are associated with my placement so like the minute i walk into the gym i'm carrying this baggage with me because it's the gym um rather than like you kind of have to let it snow a little bit uh, and bring some fresh powder to like cover over the grooves like all the tracks that are already in the snow so that you can wear new ones you can't necessarily wear new grooves over the old grooves like you really need fresh powder so what is fresh powder mentally is um, basically states where you're not thinking positive or negative and that's what Vipassana allows for me is it's just kind of like um, it's not tranquility uh, it's not trying to focus on like peacefulness um, it's actually just trying to observe very, very objectively. Um, so starting out that way is really good. And when I got to the gym, I, uh, when I got to the gym, I was, I think because I was so exhausted, I was really not looking forward to pad work. Because <laughs> one of the things Finu is focusing on with me right now is um, power, which is fine. Um, he's incredibly exhausting and always has been. In the five years I've been here, it never gets easier. He just keeps your toe right on the line all the time. But when I actually got into the ring, um, I started with a burn, which means that you kick 50 times and then do 10 burpees and then kick 50 times on the other leg and do 10 burpees, which is how Shea finishes his set and how I start my set. So my pad rounds are after the burn. Um, and I just got like into that state I was talking about, I think in my last vlog, where I was like, I was a little bit pissed off, like my best state is actually a little bit pissed off. Um, and I think that the reason that's a good state for me is not because anger itself as an emotion is beneficial, but the feelings of anger are kind of where I should be in my training. And what I've been trying to do with my training is like capture these feelings, like focus on the feeling rather than trying to do something well or like technical. So. It's interesting that if like an alien came and didn't know what anger was and you had to explain what it was to them through what it feels like, to me, that little bit pissed off, what it feels like is actually what it should feel like when I'm in the ring. It's very focused. Um, it's not distracted by other things that are happening because you really don't care. Uh, if someone gets something on you, you're like, that's all right, I'm just gonna get that back because you're like a little bit pissed off. It makes you like, um, it makes your, responses to things immediate rather than hanging on to things that happened a minute ago or projecting into something that might happen 20 seconds from now, which I time travel a lot uh, mentally in the like 
oh, I know I'm going to miss this kick or I know he's going to get me back on that or um, he just kicked me and I haven't gotten him back, like that kind of thing. So the slight, slightly pissed off is me being in the moment. So <laughs> I thought that was revolutionary today, uh, realizing that my, uh, I've known that being slightly pissed off is a really good state for me um, mentally in my training, but realizing that it's a um, feeling that makes that good. Like, I don't actually have to be mad at anything. I'm not actually mad at anything. I'm mad at being tired, which is not something you can really be mad at. I'm tired all the time. <laughs> so, that was fun. That's my realization for today, and that's my, uh, that's my mental training for this morning. Um, I'm gonna go finish my sit-ups, which I'm not looking forward to because uh, I've worn the skin off of my tailbone from being overly wet when I'm doing my conditioning at the end of the day. Um, but so I'll just be slightly angry about that and get my stuff done. <laughs>